what? It wouldn't surprise me, but I find it very hard to believe that that would be the deciding factor in whether or not they won. Well, I mean, it doesn't really showcase good sportsmanship. I mean, isn't it, isn't it true that uh, you ought to be able to win on your own merit and, and be, uh, you know, the super team without having to cheat? I mean, in my mind, I would think it would be kind of cheating, you know, to know the other play, the, the other side's, uh, you know, playbook. That's, yeah, that's not playing fair. I don't believe it. I think it's just someone throwing more dirt, trying to make the Saints look bad. For some odd reason, they're going after the Saints, and I don't know why. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time something like this happened in professional football. You look at uh, Belichick with New England, with his trying to steal signs and they're trying to do different things. So I'd say it's, it's not rare. It has happened. But I think right now for these allegations that come out, it's, it's just too hokey. <clears throat> It lacks some substance to a certain degree on some things. You can't out and out dismiss it, but at the same time, it leaves a lot to question. You have a lot of questions about it. I know I do, uh, but at the same time, you know, regardless if the allegations are true or not, you consider the bounty gate, the bounty issue, the possible player suspension, the Drew Brees lingering contract issue. This is another another attack that the Saints are having to fend off right now as they prepare for an NFL draft. So, And that's a draft that they don't have a first or a second round pick in. So it's really just another attack that they have to fend off whether it's true or not.